Down goes Sarah Palin. Yes, she is now out of a job, at least at Fox News. Uh, this is from Raw Story. Republican presidential, former Republican vice presidential nominee and uh, quitter in chief. Remember, quitting her Alaska governorship. Sarah Palin is out of a job at Fox News for a second time. That's the first time it's happened. Politico reported on Tuesday that Fox News declined to, re to renew the former Alaska governor's contract and that the network had amicably parted ways. Basically saying, like, hey, Sarah Palin, we don't want you on the air anymore. First of all, you have nothing interesting to say, and nobody likes you anymore. <laughs> According to Politico, Parent Palin was expected to make guest appearances on Fox News from time to time, as she had done. Now, as of June 1st, Palin is no longer an employee at Fox News. Who knows what she's going to do now? Maybe she'll try to run for president. <laughs> run for president. Okay. <laughs> now, it's kind of interesting how they pointed out just how intertwined Sarah Palin was with Fox News. She became a go-to person, like Fox's go-to person. So much so that the network actually installed a studio in her home. Oh yeah, Sarah Palin, we're, we like you so, we want you to talk so much that we're actually going to put a studio in your home. <laughs> wow. Now, in uh, 2011, this is very interesting, Chief Rod Fox News Chief Roger Ailes explained why she was put on the payroll uh, in the first place. Why? And, and look, this is, this is like super brutally honest. I hired Sarah Palin because she was hot and got ratings. Now, does that surprise any of you that Fox News would hire someone just because they're hot? And get and, and they get ratings. Doesn't surprise me. Remember, Roger Ailes is the guy that reportedly would turn off Fox News just to see the optics of it. And if you look at a lot of shows, outnumbered Fox and Friends, Fox Fox News female consultants. Well, first of all, most of them look the same, blonde 1950s style, and they're not allowed to wear pants on the set. Dresses only, and uh, you've got to show a little bit of leg to be on Fox News. So does it surprise me at all to have this reported that that uh, Roger Ailes had only hired Sarah Palin because she was hot and got ratings? Not at all. Absolutely not at all. Now it kind of one it kind of makes me wonder: What is she no longer hot anymore? In the eyes of uh, Roger Ailes. Or is it something else? So, now that Sarah Palin is out, I kind of want to give her a little bit of a send-off, since hopefully we're not going to hear much of her uh, anymore in the coming months, coming years. Perhaps this time she will fade into obscurity, but you never know. But before she goes, I want to give her a little bit of a, a send-off by kind of reminding you of some of the fun stuff that she said. It must change. Things must change for this cover, our government. Look at it. It isn't too big to fail. It's too big to succeed. It's too big to succeed so we can afford no retreads or nothing will change with the same people and same policies that got us into this, the status quo, another Latin word, status quo, and it stands for, man, the middle class, everyday Americans are really getting taken for a ride. <laughs> That's status quo. And GOP leaders, by the way, uh, you know, the man can only ride you when your back is bent. We're going to miss you, Sarah Palin. We're going to miss you.